What is one of the top five technical concepts you must know for an investment banking interview? Number one, what is the difference between equity value and enterprise value? And the easiest way to understand this is to think about buying a house, because even if you don't own real estate, most of us have probably watched Million Dollar Listing, Buying Beverly Hills, Selling Sunset. If you were to identify a $5 million house, you are, as the buyer, not going to have to come up with $5 million in cash unless it's an all cash deal. But usually what happens is that you as the buyer only need to come up with say 20% of that 5 million. So about $1 million. That is the cash you are putting in as your equity. The remainder, so the remaining $4 million is going to come from the bank. The bank is going to lend you $4 million in the form of debt, and you are then responsible for paying interest on it. You are responsible for paying that back over the course of say 30 years. But the point is you have your equity, you have your debt, and if you put that together, you get the value of the entire house. The same holds true for a company. Let's say you go out to the public markets and you buy a share of Microsoft stock. You're buying into the public equity. That is the equivalent in the house example of the million dollars. There is, in most companies, additional capital raised. And the most common type of capital is debt. And so if you want to understand what is the value of the entire firm, not only are you going to take the equity, but you're going to add the debt as well. And when you put that together, what you get is called the enterprise value. It includes all other capital that has come into the business, and that is your enterprise value.